Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy from Hartsville, South Carolina. Today I'm at one of the many beautiful ponds our state provides for us. This is Sexton Pond, located in the Sand Hills, just outside of the town of Macbee, South Carolina. It's a very peaceful and relaxing place. But this is the main reason I've come out here today. These are trumpet pitcher plants. This is one of several species of plants in our state that has developed the ability to trap and digest insects. This is an extremely good design for both luring and trapping insects. The hoods we're looking at here produce both scents and colors that insects find appealing. It also keeps the rain out, uh, which, which keeps the uh, digestive fluids inside the tube from being diluted. The lip here produces even more scents and nectar. It also has a waxy coating um, which causes the uh, insects to lose their footing. That wax will actually uh, get in the insect's feet and uh, make it even harder for the insect to grip. Now they're too small for my camera to pick up, but uh, there are some tiny downward pointing hairs all along the uh, inside of this tube. So uh, once the insect ventures this far and falls into the tube, it's very, very difficult for, for it to get back out. Now these tubes only last a season and then they tend to fill up with uh, parts of the insect that the plant can't digest. Now this tube is dyed and split open and you can actually see uh, some of the remains of the insects. Now these particular plants are a pretty good size. The uh, tallest ones are a little over two foot tall. And you can see a couple of flowers hanging over the water. It has one of the strangest looking flowers in the plant kingdom. Almost doesn't even look like a flower. The soil here is very sandy and low in nutrients, but because of its ability to trap and digest insects, this pitcher plant has been able to survive where the plants can't. <laughs> 